What's up, it's your girl, Danny Ace, and I'm live with InterVision TV, and I have with me Little Meech. Hey, you already know what it is. We about to get into it. So, I heard your father is Big Meech. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, so that's him on your shirt, right? Yes, it's him. And for those that don't know your dad or what he was standing for in the hip-hop community, can you tell them what BMF stands for? Well, BMF stands for um, Black Mafia Family. Okay. And you know, well, my dad was a entertainment producer and also an entrepreneur. Okay. <laughs> and he was very good at what he did. He helped a lot of rappers become, you know, stars, and and he was just a very like powerful man in the entertainment business. And he knew a lot of people. He was a great man, a lot of man. He still lives. <laughs> Okay, and so I heard that you want to be a producer. Do yes, you plan on following in some of his footsteps with the music industry? Yes, I, I would actually want to have my label one day, have my own label one day. Okay. And I want to start pursuing like um, the engineering and being a music producer. I make a decent stuff like a Metro Boomin or um, like a, you know, like a high music producer, Zaytoven. I look up those type of people. Okay, so have you been making any beats for anybody? I see that you deal with a lot of entertainment people or a lot of celebrities. Well, I'm in the process of learning right now. I'm doing interning and stuff like that. I'll probably go to college for engineering too, okay. most likely, yeah. Okay, you know what school you're gonna go to yet? No, nah, not yet, but somewhere in California. Okay, that's a step, that's a step. So, since you've been meeting a lot of people in the hip hop industry, who has been like somebody that's been like, wow, my dad and got to meet you? Back in the day, who was somebody that you got to meet? Um, well, um, Puff, Puff Daddy. Okay, P Diddy. And, yeah, P Diddy. Okay, so how was that meeting him? Well, it was, my him and my dad were great friends back in the day, so it was it was nice. So I heard you got to go to like the movie, the premiere. Yeah, I went movie. to the premiere of this movie. So how Can't was that? Won't stop. It was great. It was nice. It was, it was iconic. Okay, nice. That's what's up. Yeah. That's fun. So. You, say you were an engineer and that your dad had a lot to do with the hip hop industry. How does it feel to have people like be like, yo, your dad was awesome? Like, how do, I know that's got to be like kind of starstruck. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good knowing that a lot of people looked up to my dad and how powerful he was. And, you know, he was just a star and he was a, you know. What has to be one of like the craziest instances when somebody gave you like a story that you was like, dang, dad? Um, just. What he's doing the club, <laughs> spend money and just have a great time with people. It's just I love hearing the stories. So did you get to talk to him on the regular? Yeah, he calls me every other day. I talk to him mostly every day. So what is something that he tells you like to keep you motivated while you're out here? You know, just stay on the right path and don't let any, anything or anybody keep me away from being successful, and doing what I got to do. That's basically. You know, he tries, you know, he keeps me on, on track of what I got to do in life. Do you plan on, like, following his footsteps with the legacy in the music industry? I know you oh, yeah. trying to do the engineering yes. thing. Yes, hopefully most, yeah. So do you get to work with any big name players since you have a lot of the connects with people? Well, like I anybody play. that wants to, like, actually help you out? Yeah, I got a lot of people. Well, I, pl I, um, I plan to work with a lot of people when I pursue it, but... It's in the future, yeah. <laughs> that's so sad, that's so sad. Okay, so, how has life been, like, since he's been gone? Like, is it hard? No, it's not hard. I mean, he, he's always by my side, so it's just, he's not in, in like, present form. Like, it's just his self form, but it's still, he's always there. He's always by me, keeping me motivated. My mom is there, she's doing a good job, so it's just, he's a phone call away. Just wait till he get home. That's it. That's what's up. You get to visit? Yeah, yeah we see him every couple months. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, besides engineering, what else do you look forward to, like, with your career? Well, um, I don't know. I haven't really thought past that yet, but a lot of stuff could come. I don't know. So do you have like a famous fashion designer? I know you meet a lot of celebrity people. What about any kind of like fashion designers or anything that you like to wear? 
But yeah, I like I like a lot of fashion. Um, I I haven't really thought about any um, designers I like to meet, but I'm I'm really good, like in the fashion a lot though. So. Do it, is it kind of weird when people go out and like recognize you? Nah, it's not weird. I mean, my Instagram <laughs> kind of be hitting sometimes, so <laughs> people recognize me off of there. You know, interviews I've done, so it's like I I like it. So about how old were you when your um, father went away? Like. I was about five going on six. So how, how hard has that been since he's been away for you? Well, you know, it's always been tough, but he's always been there every step of the way, so. And now he just got clemency. Okay. So this, which is great. That is great. It's great, so we're just waiting to get a new date. You know, it's all just time. But it's great because we just know you're coming home soon. So. Okay, so I know I need a lot of support with that. Yeah, a lot. Okay, that's what's up. So what does, does he have any goals, anything that y'all have planned coming home for when he come home? Because I know if y'all just got that, I know you y'all yeah. got some plans coming. Yeah, just trying to get him home first. We ain't, Understandable. Yeah, we ain't talk about that yet, but Understandable. yeah. Okay, so I understand that be meeting all the celebrities, all the fashion designers you gotta probably be meeting when you be meeting these celebs. How, what kind of fashion designers do you like to wear and different things like that? Well, I, I love Gucci and Balenciaga, stuff like that. Off-white, you know, but I mean, I love a lot of designers, so I wear various types, so. So if anybody came in and was like, yo, I want you to wear my stuff, who would it be? Gucci? Yeah, Gucci. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay, okay. We ain't gonna just sell anybody out, but you'll wear all of them. Yeah. <laughs> but if it had to be something, it would be Gucci. Yep. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, so I know you wanna be an engineer and I know you wanna get into some producing. Is there any other thing in the entertainment world? Cause it's a big entertainment world. I know you gotta meet a lot of people. Anything well, right, else you wanna touch on? Yeah, right now I'm actually taking acting classes for this new show coming out. Okay. Yeah, with my dad and 50 Cent, Randall Emmett, collabing on a new show he's coming out with. Okay, so. Yeah, story. So would you ever act as your dad in a movie role? Yeah, it's possible when he was younger, <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's what's up. So you've got plans to go ahead and do acting yeah. as well? Okay. Is that all you want to do in the entertainment world? Or you a dip and dab? You, you really yeah, just don't know dab. yet? Yeah. So where are you originally from? I'm originally from Miami. Okay, born and raised? Yes, yeah, born and raised. Okay, but you're living now where? In Davie, Florida. Okay, so how do you like it? How's the change? Well, it's, it's, not, I mean, it's not really that much of a change, but I was young when I moved, so it's like, I like it. It's, okay, you like yeah, it? You like, like it better? I, mean, I like Davey more. You like Miami more? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I bet it's faster there. Okay, so I understand that you moved from Miami, so what actually brought you down this way? Well, I actually had a hosting with um, Cody P, one of the rappers, he signed a Boosie. We okay. had a hosting down at the bar in Central Florida. So you've been on tour? I'm um, not on a tour, but I do, you know, hostings. So what all cities have you traveled to? Well, I did some in Miami. I've done some in Atlanta. I'm um, down here, you know, up in North Florida, where we are now. And I'm traveling more, more cities coming up. I got more coming up. So if you had to do anything with any celebrity that you have met, who would it be? Um, probably Future. Future? Yeah. How was that? You met him? Yeah, yeah, I met him. How was it? Yeah, that's, that's nice. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what's up. You want to make some of his beats? Yeah. That's yeah, what's up. No. Okay. Make it hit. <laughs> and do you have any kind of social media? Where can people follow you? I know you said your Instagram, people be following yeah, you there. So. Mostly active on my Instagram, at Lil Meach BMF. Okay, any Snapchat? No Snapchat, Twitter. Lil Meach 263, yeah. Well, we're going to let you go ahead and get up out of here. You already know what it is. It's your girl, Danny Ace, and we live with InterVision TV, and that's it.